Okay, today I'll be discussing the second part of my HTML basic tags. So for this uh, video, I'll be discussing about how to insert images, hyperlinks, and how to deal with lists. So to insert images to your uh, web page, we can make use of the IMG tag. So the syntax will be IMG, and then followed by the attribute SRC or the source is equal to, and then the URL. So it can be the file name or maybe the address of a of an image. And then alt, the alternate text so is equal to text. You can place here the description of the image. And optionally, you can also specify the width of the image and maybe also even the height. So as an example, I have here IMG. SRC is equal to, then I have here the file name photo.jpg. And then as my alternate text equals beach photo. So let's try to demonstrate this now in the in an actual uh, web page. So I'll be opening my notepad. I'll be creating my document. So if you HTML slash HTML, which contains the head slash head and the body. And the head can contain the title, links and list slash title. Okay. So how do I insert an image? Let's say, for example, I can place here IMG followed by SRC so that I will be placing here the file name and maybe an alternate text. So that is my tag. Now I'll be saving my file in a folder. So I have here a folder on my desktop that I call what? Where's my folder? Web lesson samples. So here I'm going to place here my uh, HTML basics two. So that HTML. So HTML basics two HTML. So I'm going to save my file. Okay. Of course, I don't have any output yet. So how do I include an image? Let me check that particular folder. So I have here IMG underscore zero three one nine. It is actually a JPEG file. So I'm going to type the file name. So IMG underscore what was that again? 0319. So 0319.jpg. Let us first view this image. So run launch in Chrome. Oh, it's a very big image. We can specify the width. Let's say width is equal to 500 px, meaning pixels. Let's try that. So let's check this and refresh. So that's my image. Okay. So I can also place my alternate text. Let's place here flowers. So that's how we can place images in our web page. Okay, so that's the basic of placing images. Let's go back to our PowerPoint presentation, or PowerPoint slides. So next, hyperlinks. 
So to create hyperlinks, we can use the anchor tag A. So the syntax is A, href is equal to URL, then optionally we have the target value, but we'll not be discussing that yet for this uh, video. And then I can place here my content and then slash A. So the content here will be my hyperlink. To demonstrate that, let's again go back to our editor. So let's say I'm going to place here a link. A href equals, let's call it page one dot HTML. Let's call it page one slash a so that's actually a link i'm going to create another link a href equals page 2 dot html page 2 slash a so i don't have page 1 and page 2 dot html yet so allow me now to create those files so new HTML slash HTML head slash head title page one slash title body h one this is page one oh what's that <laughs> should be h one Last body. Let's say I want to place here a link. A href equals what's my file name again? A while ago, HTML basics two dot HTML back, or let's call that maybe home slash a. So what I have here is I have a document that will display this is page one and inside the document I also have another anchor or hyperlink so when I click home it will open HTML basics to that HTML which is actually our file a while ago so in this file I have here two hyperlinks if I click on page one it will open page one that HTML and this is supposed to be my page one that HTML. But I will be copying this first and create another file and just paste and just do a little bit of editing. So this is now my second page. So allow me to save the first one. So save. I'm going to call my uh, the file name should be page one dot html and then the next one let me save that to page two dot html so i have for now three files html basics two and then i have page one dot html and page two dot html now let's try to view this first and maybe make some adjustments so once i refresh so you notice I have here page one and page two. I want them, I want to place these two links below. So what were, what will I do? Maybe I'm going to insert a BR. And the same is true with this. I'm going to insert another BR maybe. So refresh so i have you now page one and page two below my image so what will happen if i click on page one so page one will open that file named page one that html so this is page one so when i click home it goes back to my previous page so i click on page two it opens page two if i click home it again goes back to my 
homepage. So that is how we use hyperlinks or links in HTML. So now let's go back to our PowerPoint presentation. Then the next topic will be about list. So I'll be discussing two types of lists here. First is the unordered list and the next one is the ordered list. So the syntax for this is we have here UL for an ordered list which ends here and then inside my unordered list will be the items or the list items inside my unordered list. So each item will be enclosed in li tag. So li slash li. So let's try this one. So let's go back to my page. Maybe a place here, a horizontal line. So ul slash ul. Then I have here a list. Maybe a list of flowers. Mm. What are flowers that I know? Uh, ilang ilang slash li li orchid slash li so each item should be enclosed but in the li tag li mm, what are flowers lily I'm um, spelling it correctly. Okay, so assuming I have now my list. So it is an unordered list. So let's check. So I'm going to refresh. So allow me to make this larger. So I have here now my image. So I have here my two links and then I have here my unordered list. So it is unordered because it is not numbered or we did not use letters to uh, give the arrangement or the order of the list. So what we have here are just bullets. Now can we change the bullet shape? Yes, but we'll be doing that using uh, CSS later. So in a way, this is an unordered list so let's go back to our powerpoint or let's go back to our code again review so we have ul slash ul <clears throat> that's uh, that means that's the beginning and the end of my list and inside these tags will be the list item so li slash li etc now let's create an ordered list so the difference is that instead of ul, we use ol. But for the contents, it can be the same. So since I am lazy in typing, I'll just copy and paste. So I have here two lists. One is an unordered list and the other one is an ordered list. So let's see the difference. Okay. So you notice now I have here a list, numbered, a numbered list. Can we change this with alphabet? Yes. So, but we'll be doing that again uh, using CSS later in this course. So I have here now my list. So that's the ordered list. So as a conclusion, again, what is our, let's try to conclude to summarize what we have done. So for images, we use the IMG uh, tag. For links, we use the anchor tag. And for list, we use the UL tag and the OL tag. So UL tag is for an unordered list and OL is for ordered list. So thank you very much.